Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my latest purchase. Wow, this thing is big. This is the auto feeder from Wingscapes. So that's with all my purchases. I just like doing these unboxing videos in case there's somebody out there thinking about buying the same item. Wants to get an idea of what does it look like when it comes in, etc. So I've done a little bit of research on this feeder. First and foremost, let me say this front section is showing that you can use it to feed chickens. I'm not going to be doing that in this video. Uh, for my purposes, I'm buying it to feed wild birds in the backyard. And the reason I like this feeder is I'm having issues with doves that sit on my feeder and eat all day long. And I'm hoping this will solve that issue because this feeder is an auto feeder. It's going to drop seed at the bottom. The birds can eat, but then once the seed's gone, they can't get seed until it drops again. So I'm excited about trying it out. It runs on four AA batteries. I'm going to go ahead. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so I finally got it unboxed. So I thought I might go through all the items that it comes with, and then we'll go through the assembly of it. Should be pretty easy. So first and foremost, you get your seed hopper. Again, this is a pretty good size. It can hold up to a gallon of seed. It's got a metal lid that simply pulls off. You've got a retaining cable here, so the lid stays connected to the feeder. You don't have to worry about it falling off or anything like that, but I mean, it is heavy duty. Nothing's gonna lift the lid off. Just give you an idea of what the seed tray looks like. I like that it's nice and wide. If you ever did need to clean it out for some reason, you can get your hand in here very easy. So that's the first item that it comes with. If you look at the bottom here, you're gonna see a couple different things. There's four screws here, and then there's some little slots here. That's gonna be for the next items that it comes with. It comes with a metal hook for hanging that we're simply going to put in on the sides over here. I'll put that in a little bit. That's what we're gonna to use to hang our feeder, obviously. Comes with two different plastic pieces for your baffle. Now the baffle serves two purposes. One, it keeps squirrels off if you've got issues with squirrels, but more importantly for me, it keeps your seed dry. So if there's any kind of rain, you won't get as much moisture on your seed. All you do is you clip these two pieces together. I should mention, once you clip them together, there's a little lock here, so they're not gonna come apart. That's why I've got them together versus separated because once they've been clipped, they're pretty much stuck together. But as far as taking it on or off, it's very simple. All we're gonna do is line up the screws on the bottom. There we go. Once we've got it lined up, we give it a little twist and all it does is those screws lock into place. And now we've got our baffle on. Baffle's kind of optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but I'm definitely gonna use it. We have our thrower. The thrower has a heavy duty plastic housing and then there's two metal screws here on the side that allow us to open it up and set the timer. I'll go through the timer settings a little bit later on in this video. I like that the screws stay as part of this so you never have to worry about losing these screws, which for me is a good thing. Same thing, you don't need any tools for any of this. When we're ready to put our thrower on, all we do is we line up the screws to these grooves on the bottom, give it a twist, and now we've got our thrower on there. It's very easy to take off. If you ever need to take it off and clean it, again, all we're gonna do, twist it to take it off. So anyway, that's that. I probably should have left that on for purposes of this video. All right, we got it back on. Now at this point, if you're looking to feed chickens, if you just want the seed to drop straight out, you're pretty much done. You can hang it, put your seed in it, and you're ready to go. If you're like me though, and you're looking to feed wild birds, and then we're going to use this part here. This is a metal cage that we're going to put into the bottom. It's got some teeth that line up. Then we're going to take the seed tray, which I like is metal, has nice holes uh, to allow moisture to get through there. We're going to put it upside down and then we're going to take this screw and we're going to go straight through the bottom. So now we're ready to feed wild birds eat. 
Nice baffle, keeps the seed dry. We've got a seed tray at the bottom. We're gonna drop as much seed as we want to throughout the day. Birds can come eat from this platform. Once the seed's gone, they have to wait till it drops again. I thought it might be beneficial to go through the settings of the timer. I was gonna show really quick, you do have a battery door on the back side, four AA batteries. You can use lithium, you can use rechargeable, you can use regular alkaline. The only thing is you wouldn't want to mix and match. So you wouldn't want to put, you know, two lithium batteries and two regular batteries in your thrower. If you're going to use lithium, use four lithium. If you're going to use regular alkaline, use four regular. And if you're going to use rechargeable, use four rechargeable batteries. And that's pretty standard with any device. Then on the back side, you've got your timer door. So all we're going to do is we're going to open it up. You're going to see your time set. You've got three different buttons on it. If you need to adjust the time, all you're going to do is press the up or down button or hold it down until you get to the current time. That's how you set your time. You've got four different throwings on here. If you press the mode button, it'll take you into your first throwing set timer one. And then again, you can press the up or down button to set it wherever you want to. Press the mode button a second time, it'll take you to your run time. You can adjust it anywhere from one second to 10 seconds per throw. So if I wanted to do, I'm just gonna do three seconds Press mode button, now it takes me to my second timer. And again, we're gonna do the same steps as we did with the first one. You can set it for whatever time you want. Press the mode button again, and then you set the throwing time for the second timer. You don't have to use the same throwing time, that's the great thing. If you wanna throw more seed in the morning, and then just a little bit of seed in the afternoon, you can totally do that. So I'm gonna set this for just one second. And you've got a third timer, and you've got a fourth timer if you wanna use them. If you don't wanna use them, you just keep the run time to zero, zero, and it won't throw during that time. Go through all of them. Once you get back to your clock, you're done setting your timer. If you wanted to test it at any one of them during the run times, you can press and hold the mode button and it'll show you how much seed it'll drop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it out. Let's see if we get any birds that use it. 